Welcome back to Inside the Huddle. I'm Jack Heffer alongside head coach John Troxell. And coach, a change of scenery here. We're on a turf field. We're not used to this one bit. We got Shattuck Stadium in the background, and this has been a process in the making for a long time now, eight years, and you've been a part of it all. How great is it to finally be able to stand on this turf field and look at this beautiful Shattuck Stadium now that it's finally done? Yeah, I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful. We got the kids in here on uh, Monday night. Uh, we moved into the locker room. What you see outside, it's even more impressive inside. And uh, I couldn't be happier for, for our kids. Can't be more thankful to our alums, parents, friends of the program, anybody who gave money to help make this a reality. Uh, it's something pretty special. Are you excited for the atmosphere that's going to come this Saturday, and you think it's going to help your team? Well, yeah, I mean, I'm real excited for the atmosphere. I'm excited to see uh, so many alums come back and support us, and I think it's just great for our kids. It's a big rivalry, obviously, playing for the Conestoga Wagon. It's been a rivalry for a long, long time. Our alums have a lot of memories from it, and, uh, and our kids are really excited for the challenge. Let's talk about Dickinson. They are coming off of two road wins uh, recently against McDaniel, 13-10 to 10 victory. They're coming in pretty hot, and and it's always a battle between Dickinson. I know you and I talked and you have said that you always have this game highlighted on the schedule no matter what Dickinson's record is coming in. What do you guys have to do to beat the Red Devils? Well, I mean, we got to do what we do. We got to show up. We got to play mistake free football. We got to play with a lot of enthusiasm. You know, when, when you get into a rivalry week, the records get thrown out. It doesn't matter who's good, who's what everybody's saying. It's about showing up that day because there's going to be a lot of emotion on both sides of the field. Um, and, and we have to have our kids ready mentally and not be distracted by everything else that's going on around here. You know, with the opening of the stadium, you know, they can't be worried about the wagon. The wagon is what you get at the end after you play well. We have to focus play by play on everything we're doing. You guys are coming off the bye week, a week before a tough loss to Johns Hopkins. What can you guys take from that loss and transform it? Uh, for Saturday, kind of the improvements going off of that? Yeah, well, there's a couple things. One, I mean, first, getting some guys healthy is, is imperative. I mean, you know, having the bye week was at, at the right time for us. Uh, but, you know, we played a very good Hopkins team. I mean, they're a good football team. Uh, it was good to get to the tape and correct a lot of the things that we probably didn't do right. And then the other side, too, is we had the bye week to go back to some of the fundamentals, some of the things that we did early in camp, just to get the kids to remember the little things. Because in this game, it's, it's a game of inches, and the little things matter, and that's why you win games. Coach, off the field, you guys, uh, with a great initiative, the Little Dip Diapers, uh, over 12,000 diapers donated to Water Street Ministries. I know that you guys have been doing that for a long time. What's that mean to your team? Uh, and also, that contribution, it must just be a, a great feeling and a great overall community uh, service aspect. Yeah, I mean, we sell to our kids all the time about giving. You know, it's, it's easy to get, you know, but when you give to others, good things happen, you know, and, and we're proud of our kids, you know, from their GPA to their community service. Um, again, uh, you know, we didn't start that diaper drive, you know, for us to look good. It's because we're helping homeless moms and their kids that are down at the Water Street Mission. And when the kids go down there and they see that, it makes them want to do more in the community. You know, last spring our kids did, you know, over 700 hours of community service. And I'm more proud of that and their GPA than any win we've ever had. So uh, if we keep getting good kids who are willing to give back to the community, I think it's just an amazing thing. Well, Coach, we hope that the community comes together here on Saturday. It's going to be a special time against Dickinson. A 1.30 start time. You can catch that here on GoDiplomats.com. The opening of Shattuck Stadium. Coach, really appreciate your time and good luck this Saturday. Really excited.